What's up everyone? Praise the Lord and welcome back to the Teens for Kingdom YouTube channel. My name is Marriott and I am part of the Inner Inspired Catholic Youth Ministries in the United States. And today on this channel, we're going to be talking about death. Now, this is not exactly the most happiest or most pleasant topic to talk about. If you're dealing with grief, you know how difficult it is to mourn the loss of a loved one. And for you and me, just thinking about our own death, the own end of our life is kind of intimidating. But my dear brothers and sisters, we do not have to fear death. Why? Because death is not the end. It is just the beginning of a new and beautiful life that is to come. You came we believe in a living God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Even though He suffered the most brutal death on the cross and was laid to rest in the tomb, the grave could not hold Him and He resurrected on the third day. Sound familiar? This is because every time we pray either the Apostles' Creed or the Nicene Creed, we are professing this faith over and over again. We pray like this. He, Jesus, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. And through His death on the cross and through His resurrection, Jesus has purchased for us, both you and me, the same eternal life. God was so in love with us, you and me, each one of us, that He wanted to be with us forever not just for 60 years or the average lifespan of a human being, but unto eternity. And for this eternal union with God, Jesus Christ himself had to pay that ultimate price. John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. This is the greatest gift that Jesus has bought for each one of us, this eternal life, this union with God until the end of time. Now let's talk about us, you and I. Because of this ultimate price that Jesus paid on Calvary, our purpose is not just limited to the number of days we spend on this earth, right? Our purpose is beyond our physical lifespan. And as children of God, you and I were created with this ultimate purpose, to know God, to love God, to serve God, and to be with God forever. So those first three, knowing God, loving God, serving God, we can fully accomplish while on earth. But that last one, to be with God forever, requires us to pass on from this world and into our final union with God and our souls will not be fully satisfied until it is in perfect union with its Creator. The Word of God tells us in Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 that our citizenship is in heaven. So whether we're Canadian or Australian or Scandinavian, at the end of the day, our final address is the same, and that is in heaven. For each one of us, heaven is our home. We belong in heaven, not in purgatory or hell or anywhere else. And this earthly journey is just temporary. It is just a journey for each one of us to find our way back to heaven. And as creation, the final, the meaning of our existence is finally realized in that beautiful moment where the creation, us, meets our creator in that eternal and final union in heaven. And even though this eternal life is promised to everyone, unfortunately, it's not always the case that everyone prioritizes this and everyone values this and ultimately achieves this. So let's take a minute of quick self-reflection. So everyone, including me, let's just take a minute and think about the answer to this question. Honestly, if you died tonight, if the Lord called you tonight, where would you go? Take a minute, pause this video, and think about the answer to that question. I know that was a really uncomfortable question to just consider, and for many of us, it was a much needed wake up call, but that question is very, very crucial. As 
children of God, if we are on a journey and our final destination is to heaven, it is very important that we routinely ask ourselves that same question just to make sure we are going the right way and just to make sure we are on track. So in the book of Genesis, we see Esau who traded in his birthright for a bowl of soup. And just like Esau, many of us at many instances of our life have done the same exact thing, where we traded in our gift of eternal life for something that is less significant and temporary, like a worldly pleasure. The spirit of the world refuses to acknowledge the fact that there is life after death, and that after death, in that very moment, we will have to meet our Creator face to face. And instead, it tells us to indulge in everything, regardless of whether it harms our journey to heaven or not. But my dear brothers and sisters, each day of our life, each breath that we take is supposed to get us closer and closer and closer to heaven, not farther and farther away from it. Remember, it is heaven that you are created for and not hell. So whatever we do on earth should get us one step closer to heaven each day. Do not be like Esau and trade in our birthright of eternal life for something temporary as a worldly pleasure or enjoyment. And you might be thinking, I'm just 18 or I'm just 19, you know, I still have a lot more to live when I get to my 40s or when I get to my 50s or when I reach the end of my life, I'll repent and come back to the Lord. But remember that no one knows what time the Lord will call you, when the Lord will call you, but God himself. Sirach chapter 5 verses 7, the word of God tells us, do not delay to turn back to the Lord and do not postpone it from day to day. We cannot afford to postpone our salvation because like we said, we never know at what moment the Lord will call us. At all times, we need to be ready. We need to be prepared to meet our Creator. And we need to make sure that our soul is in a state of grace where we can enter into that final union with God. Our eternal life is way too valuable for us to taint it with temporary worldly pleasures. And now let's end this video in a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, and we adore you. Lord, thank you for the gift of eternal life. Jesus, thank you for dying on that cross for us so that we might receive this opportunity. Lord, give us the grace to always prioritize our inheritance in heaven above all else. Never allow us to compromise it for any temporary pleasure of the world. Lord, we pray for all those who are struggling with grief and all those who have lost a loved one. Lord, may you grant them comfort. May you grant them healing. And may you remind them that their loved ones are with the one that loves them above all else and who loves them the most in this world, and that is you. Mary, our mother, all the holy angels and saints in heaven, intercede for us as we continue on our earthly journey to reach heaven. And all this we ask in the most beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus,